Welcome back guys to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. We're heading to our next dungeon. We've got ourselves a fair few keys. So let's continue along the path and see what puzzles we can find. Let's get going. And most of these guys are getting knocked out of the way. And now I have a guardian acorn rather than a piece of power now. It's kind of getting all weird. That's why the music's still the same. I kind of went to cancel it because I like the dungeon music and all. But no, I keep bumping into them when defeating enemies. So now we've got ourselves a guardian acorn rather than our piece of magical power. So that's why the music's still going. Let's cut through. I mean, better have the piece of power, to be honest, but surely we can push this through. Apart from that, I was wondering if that starfish had some kind of secret trick there to beat me up, but no. Went down pretty easily. Apart from that, why are... Ah... Yeah, I was about to say, why are there holes in the floor? Well, that answered that one, didn't it? Apart from that, let's keep going. Though where to get to our next chest is another question, because there's so many different areas to head to. And to be honest, I think we should insert the beacon this guy and find out what's going on. The glint of the tile will be your guide. The glint of the tile. Well, we're not making it through that way. Too deep. We could possibly make it round there. I say we go up first. Oh, yes. Not into that, though. We can defeat turtles that way, though. But with a Guardian's Acorn, of course, we don't even have to worry about that. No HP lost whatsoever. Let's find out what's down these stairs. A little bit of jumping power might be good, because I'm guessing those spikes won't go. Oh, he's got a Guardian Acorn. That's fine, then. But we can't even get in for that key, either. Okay, we need to find ourselves an item that enables us to dive deeper into the water. Well, that good and said. We know what we're looking for. It's just, where is it? There we go. Got far enough away for a spin attack. I'm not going up there, that's for sure. Excuse me, red guys. Stop respawning. Farewell with you. We know the key's down there, but it seems we need to go all the way around. Oh, that thing is in not the right place. I hope it does not travel my way at all. So with a switch to open a door there, we're not going that way at the moment. We can't even destroy that while it's starting to power up after all. To make it through nicely. Trying to dodge and hoping for a dungeon item from one of these chests sooner rather than later. No good for me, and the Guardian Acorn is wearing it worn out. That's good. Back to the old original music. How we like it so. Ooh, a glinting toe, you say? Okay. What does that allow us to do? One glinted. I'm wondering if there's some kind of like sequence. There's one glinting tile. It says it will lead the way, but... To be honest, it didn't seem much like it made much sense to me. You got a small key though, so we can keep going through our locked doors. No way through there at the moment. Ah! Okay, now we've hit the glinting tile over there. Can we perform some other kind of thing? Well, we can't make it through that way anyway. So let's head round to the left. Hmm, let's see if we can even make it from a jump. Oh, yes, we can! Well, that brings us to the boss door, but that's not going to help us much. At this point in time, anyway. Okay, but we can head down here and hopefully... Oh. Right, it seems we're coming places we shouldn't be going yet. It's one way to look at it, anyway. Oh, another guardian acorn! See, they never stop coming! For a piece of power all the way. But at the moment, we're feeling a bit clueless with what to do. I guess the only thing that we can right now, ow, is head all the way back to that door before where the watery key lies. Or layer. 
Excuse me, bad guys. Out of the way. Coming through. I'll jump over you as well. Linting Tile may lead the way, but not really. This might lead the way, however. Hello. You're faster than me as well. But we can simply just hit you. That's not hard for me. Really? He moves faster than me, but to be honest... Ow, okay. You actually did stop me that time. Oh, I managed to... What are we actually aiming at? The bulbous bit of the back? Or are we poking in the face? But either way, it's defeated. I'm wondering if there's any kind of actual strategy for that, but it seemed just, uh... Well, I guess one way you could put it is very easy. It seemed very easy. And I didn't even manage to get the fairy. Despite all my trying! Okay, that didn't seem too good to me. Uh, yeah. That looked like doom and death was coming my way, didn't it? Well, that'll give us a longer timer on getting through and not getting crushed to death, which is always a good thing. And now, if anywhere looked dungeonized me before, this has got to be it. You've got the flippers! If you press the B button while you swim, you can dive underwater. Brilliant. So that's the item we've been looking for all along. Apart from that, a piece of power is going to help us out quite a bit. I can get myself my health back in a second. There we go, defeated one. And that's basically a simple way to do that. So do I have to hit in that order around the world kind of in the other room as well? That's a question. That really is the question. With well, that said, blast you away. Should we try it out? I was guessing we can make it through there, so... Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Leading the way indeed, right then. So with that done, find out where this leads. We've got so many places to go just to collect stuff at the moment. It's kind of ridiculous. Come on then, Fomps, if you want to get on me, you can try. I actually need to pull you down again. And then jump on your head, and then jump over to here. Quite a lot of legwork. Right, so we're up on top this way. Another chest is ours. We've got ourselves the Nightmare's Key. Now you can open the door to the Nightmare's Lair. We can actually already reach the boss at this point. The question comes, though, is have we got every chest? Let's get the chest first. And to be honest, it shouldn't be so hard to reach now with what it's been kind of shown to us. We can do, because we can pretty much just walk anywhere we want break through anywhere we want, take anything we want, but we do need this in the meantime. Alright, so I don't even need the rock spare anymore because I don't have to jump over anything. We can just dive straight under. What I do need... Actually, I don't really need anything apart from that. We'll get ourselves another 50 rupees. That's great. Now, of course, we've got another key down over here. Farewell, both of you. Oh, my piece of power ran out. Maybe I should have hightailed it towards the boss. Piece of power on another boss like we did with Moldorm. Would have been amazing, I'm sure. Don't crush me there, platform. Because we can now get this key. I'm just about making it onto that platform in time if we leg it. So with that said, where is our last chest? Down two rooms. Not that hard for me to get to really, but... Oh yeah, that's a simple one to reach, but what's that last key place to get to? Hmm. That interests me more than anything. Alright. That chest is ours because there's nothing going to stop us. From getting there, at the very least, he says. Making it around another 50 rupees, ever closer to getting the bow, so very nice to pick those up. We've got one more room to check out. I can defeat you guys, don't worry. Excuse me, pardon me. 
In fact, we're now less than 100 rupees away from our final prize. All our saving is leading somewhere, he says, as he collapses into nothingness. To be honest, I should just jump over that guy rather than go to fight him. Makes more sense, to be honest, but another heart stars. So what's down that last path, then? Oh, get off me! Farewell defeats and four more rupees, fine by me. So yes, what is this way? Another chest? Another something special? Secret? I hope. Well, I'll take this in the meantime. Right then, what's down here? Oh, okay, it's just a passageway back and forth to somewhere, but we've already reached the other side, haven't we? So we're looking pretty fine, and with a rocks feather, we can actually get up nice and high in the water pretty fast. So maybe we should keep that on. And round to the boss we are! That's what that final place was for, even though we jumped around it and kind of broke our way in. Using cheating methods, you could say, but still! Next boss is ours to face! I need to funk it, an underwater foe! Which way am I going to fight him? Down or up or round or down? Hello! Uh, bloop bloop, glub glub, ooh, food, bloop glub! Nice for you to say, but it seems we can't hit you from that side. In fact, I couldn't hit you at all! Hit you in the face, we're fine with that. Okay, you charge me as well, and you take a lot of HP. Oh, apart from that. Your charges are nasty because you bring down lots of nasty stuff. Hopefully though, I can get some hearts from the fish. Oh my goodness, one heart left? I might be in trouble at this rate. Another spin attack. Right, let's hope I can just dodge the rocks for now. And one final hit that hit me into the boss, but... Wow, that boss did stupid damage to me. I don't think it should have done, but another heart container is ours. That was a terrible fight there. I guess some people aren't used to kind of like water stuff, and I'm definitely not. But we come out of that victorious just ever so barely. Whew. Pick up our next instrument! A scruffy battle, but we've got the surf harp! Bay! Your road goes into the bay! A location where we actually know where we're going? Could it be? But now there's water to explore as well. Any waterfalls that we can secretly get into? No, no, no. Can I dive anywhere? All good questions, to be honest, because let's travel along and see if we can get anywhere secret, he says. Well, there's something in here, probably, somewhere, someplace. Wasn't expecting it to be a piece of heart though, a secret seashell may be, but there's no reason there'd be a cave there if there was nothing in at all with diveable water, but there we go, another full heart container! Brilliant! The thing only actually leaves us, all, well, four more heart pieces left to find. Nicely done! Anything along this way further? Well, it doesn't look it. Nothing in the corner even. But I'll take a lovely heart piece, thank you! Apart from that, anything further down? We can head down this way, that's for sure. Well, that just gets us up round here. Who knows if there was somewhere... Oh, there, there was something that way, wasn't there? Let's jump down yet again. There was definitely something past this entrance. We can just warp over to the bay, so it's no problem for us getting along the next track. Most important to me at the moment is things like this. What are they? Hello? Uh, 
Okay, I am Manbo. I was worried about being attacked. Uh, Child of the Sun, fish. Have you got an ocarina? Yes, I do. Ahaha, then I can teach you my song, bloop. But we get ourselves a new song. You've learned Manbo's Mambo. When you get out of the water, play it. What will it actually do for us, though? Can you tell me, sir? Child of the Sunfish, when you play my Mambo, you can walk to Manbo Pond. Try this tune in the dungeons, too. Cha cha cha. And it warps me to the entrance, then? Still, thank you, Manbo. I think I know where Manbo's Pond is as well. Well, that's not bad. Not bad at all. No, wondering if I can explore any other areas. Secret seashells? No. Right then, let's get out of here. Secret seashells? No. Makes no sense for seashells to be underwater though, does it? What? But still, we can get ourselves on dry land here. And then this should be the pathway that we couldn't take. Well, one push and one jump will enable us access. I do very much want to go up the top because there is of course that heart piece still to find a location into. Still, I say we should head on to the bay. Not use Manbo's Mambo at the moment. Because we can spring ourselves simply over here, so. Hello, um, hi. What's going on? There be ghosts here. Why is a ghost following me around? I am confused and a bit disturbed because you guys might not be able to see him depending on all my stuff. Still, haven't we got to give a letter lady something? Right, we have a hibiscus flower. Oh, you put me hibiscus. How sweet. Well, since you are such a gentleman, I have a request to make of you. Will you listen? Sure thing! I would like you to take this letter to a Mr. Wright who lives on the border of the mysterious forest, please! It looks like a love letter to me! You traded the flower for goat's letter! Great! I guess. Who are you, what are you, and why are you floating around me, sir? Can you see him or not? I wonder. He makes weird noises as he follows me, right! So, I'm a bit distracted by him. Ah, there's a ghost following me! Come on! Ow, 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 ow! Right, ghost, help me out! You're gonna follow me around, at least help me. I'll rear him! Oh man! There's a ghost following me! Anything going down? Now you're being haunted by a ghost! Well, how about taking him where he wants to go? Bye! I would if he talked to me! But obviously, that would mean to the graveyard then. Obviously. Well, let's play Mambo's Mambo and walk nearer to it then. And over to Crazy Tracy's. Right, so we're not actually that far from Mr. Wright's house, to be honest, which is just over here. We're nearer that to the graveyard. Is that where you want to go? I certainly hope so. I don't want to be haunted all the time, that's for sure. Come with me, guy. Out, he says, but then gets attacked by crows. Ghost, help me out a little. Stop making weird noises. I bring you back to the graveyard. Are we all good now? Is this not your home? Well, I brought you here, but... To be honest, you're not going anywhere. Which is highly worrying. Well, I thought that I'd bring him home, but... Obviously his home is somewhere completely different. Should we head to Mr. Wright's house for now? At least he's not... Well, is that your gravestone over there, maybe? Someone? I don't know. Stop making weird noises and haunting me, I creeped out by it. Leave me alone, please. 
I guess my begging isn't good enough for you. Is your home in mysterious woods? Keep following me if you dare. Ah, leave me alone. I hate this guy. We're not that far from our rupee total all the same though. If I could talk to him, things would be a lot easier, wouldn't they? Is there any way to be able to talk to him? Where is your home? That's basically all I want to say, but trading sequence continued. Here we go, what's this? A letter for me? I'm so happy, and look! The letter came with a photograph! That's really not her. That's Princess Peach. Hmm, she's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. Hmm, well, it looks like all I have is this broom. How will that be? Fine, I guess, but is this to be given to a witch, maybe? You got a broom as your reward from Mr. Wright. That photo was not of... No, it was not, but I guess we've got to leave this. With a ghost still following us around, I'm going to end the episode this time. I need to find his home. The trading sequence continues. Another dungeon completed. Another song gained. More heart containers on top of that. So good episode, I'm sure. I'll see you around for more Link's Awakening in the future. Bye-bye.